Today I'm going to share with you Disk Types Explained. Which one are you? Let's find out! <laughs> So today I'm going to share with you disk personality types. Yeah, really, which type are you? Yeah, disk has a very long and rich history is the first thing that I can really tell you. As you can see here, the theory was invented in 1928. It's one of probably the top two personality tests in the world, yeah, along with MBTI. And my team and I, we've been training disk to companies for over 14 years. Yeah, many of the world's largest companies. Many of the world's largest companies really use this test to the limit. <laughs> Everybody in the company has to know their type. Everybody sometimes has to know their team members' types. Yes, yeah, so it's crucial to know it. It's also crucial for you to understand what is your type. So let's jump into it. Yeah, and by the way, before we do that, hey, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. Don't miss out. Okay, <laughs> and very important, yeah, before we really get into the four individual types, a couple of things you have to know. You have to know, and I have to say it before every single workshop because it's so crucial. The first thing is, DISC is not a tool for judging others. So you're gonna learn these four types now and you're gonna have many aha moments probably. You're gonna realize what is your type and what is other people's types. And some people use this for judgment. You know, they learn this kind of information and then they go back to their company, they go back to their friends, they go, hey, hey, I don't like you. And now I know why. <laughs> You're dead disc type. Yeah, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So have an open mind. Don't use this for judging. What should you be using it for? Disc really can help you understand yourself and others better. That's what you want it for. Yeah, so you can communicate better with others, connect better with others, understand others better, work better together in your job, in your career. Okay, that's what we want to use it for. So let's dive into it. So what are the individual types? The first type is D type. Can you guess what D stands for? Dominant. <laughs> Dominant. Yeah. And we can kind of summarize this type kind of as the boss. Yeah, the boss. This person is controlling, powerful, assertive, demanding, forceful, strong, well, determined, ambitious, and so forth. Yeah, the biggest strength of D-types, they want to achieve something. They want to achieve the goal. Yeah, let's climb the mountain. And the faster, the better. They're very decisive. They're very competitive as well. Yeah, but it's always about achievement, getting things done. All right, that's the biggest thing. That's how you would know that you're a D-type. Your whole life is about achievement. Yeah, you're really, really good at that. You achieve this, you achieve that, you achieve that. Yeah, and you can also more easily lead other people usually. Okay, that would be D-type. Now, what is their weakness? <sighs> they don't care so much about other people's emotions. So we get to the goal quick, 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 really, really fast, chop, chop, chop. But we don't always care about other people's emotions as D-types. Yeah, people often complain that all we care about is the goal. And we sometimes look too tough pushing other people as well, if we are D-type. We can look at a couple of famous people, like Michael Jordan, of course, D-type, right? Yeah, arguably the greatest basketball player of all times, in my opinion, that is, unless you're a LeBron fan. <laughs> and of course, Angelina Jolie as well, right? She's also a typical D-type personality. Let's look at the next one, I-type, right? What does I stand for? What do you think? Yes, influential, influential. This person we can summarize as the communicator. They're influential, communicative, convincing, magnetic, enthusiastic, persuasive, warm, and so on. Yeah, I always joke around I-type, you can kind of summarize like this. They enjoy talking. <laughs> they enjoy sharing, sharing stories. They love connecting with other people. Yeah, they're often like, hey, hey, great to see you. Yeah, overall, I-types like to have a more positive environment, a positive atmosphere. Not all I-types, but most of them. Yeah, and they're great meeting new people, connecting with new people, of course, as well. Yeah, great storytellers, great connectors. What is their weakness? This. Right. So when we are I types, our weakness is really we're not the greatest listeners. We're good at talking. Yeah, we're good at sharing, but we're not always the best listeners. 
And another thing that ITAP is usually not so great at is keeping promises because they like meeting so many people, right? They love connecting to so many different people. And of course, what happens when you do that? Yeah, let's have lunch. Great. You too. Let's have lunch. Great. The next week, where are you? Oh, we had lunch today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's I type. They sometimes over promise and over commit themselves too much. So we look at a couple of people, Will Smith, right? Prince of Bel Air, fun, exciting guy, typical I type, right? So is Alan as well. Great communicator, right? Very positive. And just so you know, not all I types are necessarily very positive, but most of them usually are. Yeah, but Ellen, of course, is one of the positive one as well. Third and the third type, right? S type. S stands for what? Yes, steady. Exactly, steady. The S type we can summarize as the turtle, the turtle. And they usually, I tell you why the turtle in a second. They're calm, relaxed, patient, possessive, predictable, deliberate, stable, consistent, and so on. S type's greatest strength is they're very, very consistent. Very, very consistent, very, very steady, right? And that's also why I sometimes summarize them as the turtle because one of S type's favorite stories in the world is the turtle and the rabbit having a race. You know that story. Who wins the race? Yes, the turtle, of course. How does the turtle win the race against the rabbit? Slow and steady. Exactly, by being consistent, right? So they're very, very good at consistency. Doing something again and again and again and again and again. Becoming a master at it, becoming better at it, right? The easiest way to compare it to is, for example, the sport of golf. Right, the sport of golf, you have to practice again and again and again, the same swing. And some people, you know, like myself, I'm more ID type. Um, I get frustrated. Things don't go out the, the way I want. But S types are usually calmer in that sense. They can practice over and over and over again. Great strength to have. Yeah. Another thing about S type, um, S type also like people, but it's very different from I type. I type, how do they like people? Hey, hey they're open to the world. Right? If you ask an I type person, how many friends do you have? They pull out their smartphone. Let me check. 6,342. <laughs> S type, how many friends do you have? They have their little inner circle, yeah? Five. Five friends. But these friends are usually so close friends. They're so tight with these friends. Yeah, that's what S type is like. And weaknesses, yeah, their, their nature is just they're quieter, they're shyer. Yeah, so many S types sometimes see that as a weakness as well. Um, another weakness that they have is that they don't like change. They hate change for the matter. Think about it. If you're a consistent person, you like to do things again and again and again, what would you hate the most? It's change. Exactly. It is change. Yeah. So a couple of people here that you know, of course, right? Of course, pretty woman, <laughs> right? Pretty woman, she is as type. Tom, ha uh, Tom Cruise, what am I saying now? Tom Cruise as well, right? For Mr. Forrest Gump, right? One of my favorite actors, he's also S type as well. Yeah, just to give you a couple of ideas. Last type is the C type, the C type. How can we summarize the C type? We can summarize them as the smart one. What does C stand for? Cautious. Yeah, this type, they're careful. They like rules, like regulations. Cautious, exact, neat, systematic, and so on. Yeah, and we can really summarize them as the smart one. Yeah, or the specialist. Their knowledge level is usually very, very deep. They're very logical people. Yeah, they're very brain-based, mind-based people. They're very good with details. Yeah, they're very good at studying things in details. C-type is usually the easiest person people can think of for a perfect job. Tell me one. Yeah, you probably said it, right? Something like lawyer, accountant, right? Engineer, exactly. Surgeon, that requires a lot of details, exactly. So their strength are facts and details. They're very, very logical people usually. Weak point? Also, they tend to be a little bit shyer, which I don't think, I don't think it's a weak point, but many people see it in that way. Yeah, and the, the bigger weak point, though, is they can never get to the point. They have a very, very hard time getting to the point. 
And because there are so many details, so many things you have to consider, it's very hard for them to bring it down to one major point. Another weakness, um, they are seen by the other types sometimes as a little bit cold because all they care about is logic, facts, the right way. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that though, okay? But that's how you can kind of figure out if you are a C-type personality. And some of the richest people on the planet are C-type, right? Bill Gates is a C-type, right? Albert Einstein was a C-type as well. So this gives you probably a good idea of what your type is as well. So final question here, which one are you? I'm going to give you a couple more hints yeah, that's going to help you determine which type you are. So here's an overview of the four types that we usually would look at. Yeah. And what you want to determine now when you, when you go through this is because for most, most people are not just one type. Most people are a combination of two types. Yeah. With one usually stronger than the other, if that makes sense. Okay. Some people even have a combination of three and very, very rare, very few people sometimes called super disc. <laughs> they have a combination of all four. Yeah. They don't, they're not particularly strong or weak in any of the areas. Yeah, just so you know, but some few people have one type, only one. Most people have a combination of two. Very few have a combination of three and almost nobody a combination of four, just so you know. Yeah, so try to determine the one or two types that you most likely are. So let me give you a couple more hints. DNI type, what do they have in common? They're both extroverted. They speak their mind. They openly share what they think, okay? C and S type are more introverted. Yeah, they're shyer, they're quieter. They don't so easily share what they want to say and what they want to, uh, what they think. <laughs> yeah, another, another tip here, by the way, usually D and I are more active and C and S, they're yeah, a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, not so active as D and I type. A couple of other things you have to know. C and D type are both task oriented. Yeah, they focus on tasks. Whereas I and S type are very people oriented. They focus more on people and relationships over tasks. So which one are you? So let's go through this one more time. D type is task oriented and extroverted. What is the task for them? Yes, the goal, getting to the goal achievement. Exactly. Right. I type extroverted people oriented. Yeah. Hey, my friends, love connecting with people, loving sharing, love being together, getting things done, you know, moving forward together. Yeah, that's what they usually like. They love connecting with, with people. S type, introverted, people oriented. Again, the inner circle. Remember the inner circle. C type, introverted, task oriented. What's the task for them? Yes, lots of details, lots of details. Introverted, the brain keeps spinning keep spinning never stops yeah think about strategizing solutions etc yeah they're very very good at that so which one is your type this should give you enough ideas which are your one or two types that you're most likely a combination of yeah look at it think about it also think about the people around you at your work your family your friends yeah who is who watch the video again yeah if you want to get more ideas and more understanding as well Okay, my friend, I hope this helped you and you now know your disc type. Yeah, by the way, one last thing. Um, this is good figuring it out this way, but I always recommend taking a disc test as well. There are free options, there are paid options. Yeah, it's up to you, whatever you want to choose. The paid options, of course, gives you more meat. It gives you more details about what your type really is, but I recommend take that one as well. Okay, but I hope this helped you and you know your disc type at least a little bit better. So which type is your type? Who are you? What is your type? Comment that below one time, share it with me. Yeah, are you one type only? Do you think you're a combination of two types? What is it? Again, if you haven't done it yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. Don't miss out. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.